Hi, everyone, welcome back to HiGo Spot. It would be pretty annoying if you suddenly forgot your iPhone passcode. And when you've entered several incorrect passcodes in a row, it will get your iPhone stuck on the iPhone unavailable or security lockout screen. If that's what you're facing right now, you'll have to factory reset your iPhone to unlock it. And here in today's video, I'm going to show you four different ways to factory reset an unavailable iPhone without passcode. In the first method, you can reset your unavailable iPhone with the Erase iPhone option on the lock screen. But this option only works with iPhone running iOS 15.2 or later iOS version. And you should also have logged in your Apple account on the locked iPhone. Most importantly, your unavailable phone needs to connect to cellular or Wi-Fi network, or the Erase iPhone option won't appear. So, if your iPhone check all these boxes, then you can factory reset it very easily. All you need to do is to enter several wrong passcodes until the lock screen timer says try again in 15 minutes or above. Here, you will easily get this Erase iPhone option on the unavailable black screen. So tap on it, and then Erase Alert will tell you that this will erase and reset your iPhone to the factory settings. All your data will be erased completely. So to confirm the reset option, tap the Erase iPhone again. Here will require your password to your Apple ID. When you input the right password, you'll be logged out of your Apple account, and the erasing process will begin immediately. You see this progress bar on the screen, when it's over, the unavailable iPhone will be reset to the factory settings. You can set it up as a new iPhone after that. Easy, right? But if your iPhone is not running iOS 15.2 or later, the Erase iPhone option won't show up on the unavailable lock screen. Then how can we factory reset the unavailable iPhone? Don't worry. In that situation, you can use the alternative tool iPhone Unlocker to do a full reset on the unavailable iPhone when forgot passcode. You can find it on appgeeker.com or just check the download link in the video description below and get it on your computer. It works the same on your PC or Mac. And you'll also need a USB cable to connect the unavailable iPhone. So, first, run iPhone Unlocker on your computer. Then choose Wipe Passcode. Let it start. Here, you'll be asked to connect your iPhone to computer and follow the on-screen steps to enable the recovery mode on the unavailable iPhone. For example, for iPhone 8 and later models, connect it first, then press the volume up and press the volume down key, then keep holding the power button. Keep it until the recovery mode screen shows up. You will see a cable to computer screen like this. So, when it's connected, check your device information and go ahead. Here, it will start to download suitable firmware package for resetting your iPhone. It won't take long depending on your network condition. Once downloaded, here we enter 0000 in the box to confirm the reset option. Then click the unlock button to start. It will remove the iPhone unavailable lock screen and also erase all your data and take your iPhone back to the factory settings. Just wait for the loading bar to finish. And as you can see, when it's done, there's no more iPhone unavailable alert on the iPhone screen. It's been totally factory reset now. It's very simple, give it a try. And there's still another way to factory reset an unavailable iPhone, which is iCloud. And like the first method, this still requires your Apple ID, the password, and also the internet connection. To use iCloud for factory reset, your unavailable iOS device should have enabled the Find My option previously, or the resetting process won't take place. So now, use another Apple device that is under your Apple account, and visit iCloud.com. Sign in with the same Apple account that you used on the unavailable one. When you got in, select the Find My icon. Then choose All Devices at the top. Here on this map, you'll see all your Find My enabled devices. 
So, pick the unavailable iPhone that you want to factory reset. And then select the Erase iPhone option and confirm. Then follow the instructions to make the verification. After that, the erase process will start on the locked iPhone. It may take some time to factory reset it. And when it's all finished, your iPhone will restart, you can set it up again and enjoy your iPhone then. Well, the last method I'm gonna show you here is the iTunes way. If you have iTunes installed on your computer, let's reset your iPhone with it. You can also use Finder if your computer is based on macOS 10.15 or higher version. So, if you'd like to factory reset an unavailable iPhone using iTunes, you will need to put your iPhone into recovery mode first. Open iTunes, or Finder, and then power off your iPhone. And now I'm gonna show you how to force your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and newer models, just keep holding the side button and connect it to computer at the same time, hold for seconds, and the recovery mode screen will appear. For iPhone 7, 7 Plus, you can use the volume down key, so, press and hold the button while connecting it. And if you're using iPhone 6S and earlier iPhone models, use the home button. Remember to hold the right button while plugging your phone to your computer and do not to let it go until you see the recovery mode icon show up. Then, iTunes will pop up a message window, here, to factory reset, you should select restore. It will begin to download the iOS firmware for your iPhone. And once done, your locked iPhone will be factory reset. That's it, nothing difficult. Alright, Hope the methods we just talked about could help you to factory reset your unavailable iPhone if you forgot the passcode. I'll be very grateful if you subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.